Gardner and a farmer today in Kansas. So how are they preparing for this late winter blitz, Carolina? Yeah, well, the gardener says that she's got the room in her shed to be able to bring some of those plants and flowers inside. The farmer, that job's a little bit trickier. So we spoke with Frank Gehringer, and he says that he's most worried about his strawberries. It's about four acres. He says that those have already started blooming, so they will be exposed. So what he did was he put a row cover over all of that four acres at Gehringer Family Orchard and Berry Farm. His blueberry and apple trees, though, they are going to have to be exposed to the weather uh, just because those are too elevated from the ground. Farming's always hard. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But uh, yeah, it's been difficult. We lost our peach crop last year. and We lost, lost our peach crop again this year due to weather. Last year, we had a frost on April 10th. This year, we lost it in the middle of February. Enright, owner of Enright Gardens, says that any flowers you already planted in the ground, those need to be covered with a plastic material or with a blanket. Hanging plants or anything in a pot, just bring inside. Don't chance it. April's always touchy. It's always up and down, but usually when May comes, we're safe. And another tip, something that I actually learned today is to water your plants. So even it's the ones that are outside, water them and then cover them. The ones that you're bringing inside, make sure that you water them. Uh, she says that that will help provide an additional layer of protection. Reporting live, I'm Kim.